hello friends welcome to cad 99 youtube channel in this video i'm gonna teach you how to use scale command in autocad in this drawing file you can see that the given couch size is 150 and what we want is 600 so how to scale this first you need to select the scale command the command for scale is s c enter the initial two letters after you issue the scale command with command or using this option here you need to select your objects i'll select this all and you need to press enter once you are done selecting your object then it will ask you to specify base point now base point can be given anywhere as this is just a couch we can give it anywhere so i'm gonna give it here and then it will ask you to specify scale factor now the scale factor is uh, very easy to calculate you need to divide the required size by current size so the required size is 600 if you divide 600 by 150 you get 4 so if i type 4 enter we get 600 this was the example of scaling up your object I have got one more example where we want to scale it down now before we actually go ahead and give scale command what I want you to do is calculate the scale factor required in this case if you do not remember the way to calculate scale factor is divide the required size with current size go ahead and pause your video and divide 600 by 1200 I believe you must have got 0 0.5 answer 0 0.5 is half 1 divided by 2 so I'll select the scale command I'll select my objects and then once I'm done I'll press enter it will it is asking me to specify base point I'll click here and I can specify 0.5 or I can type 1 by 2 done now if you are not good with mathematics then what you can do I just used undo so it's back to where we started what you can do is after selecting object at the point where it asks for scale factor you can simply type this values itself like the output required is 600 and the current is 1200 you can simply type this and it will still work all fine so you don't need to do the math let's go ahead and look at the final example now in this case we don't know what is the current size we do know what is required but we don't know the current size so we cannot calculate the scale factor here so in such scenarios what you should do is you should use the advanced option the advanced option over here is reference in reference you need to specify the reference length it is the length that you want to resize in this example we want to resize from this point to this point so uh, either from that to this or this to that you need to click after we click the store point it takes that as a reference length and you need to specify new length you can type the value 600 that will work or if you don't know the output size as well but if you know visually say it is from this point to this point you can use points option and click the store points and it will still work we can verify if this is 600 or not by going into utility measure from this point to this point we can read it is 600 i hope you guys understood what i explained in this video and i also hope that this video helped you if it did you can also help me by liking this video subscribing to my channel and by sharing this video see you guys in next video till then take care and don't forget to be awesome goodbye